Well, hello guys, this is the next part of tutorial videos and we will start from fixing um, an issue. So, first one is, uh, for example, what if I pick up a shirt, equip it, put an apple in it and uh, what if I will drop it? Also, I cannot drop it from here, that should be fixed also. Throw away. Now I'm gonna pick it up again, equip and apple disappears. So. Why it disappears? It disappears because in our old laser short, for example, we are creating a cell from scratch and their cells and the rows are empty. So what do we have to do? We have to open our base class, our base class, BP container item base, and uh, create a new variable here. Let's create it and let's call it item of type bc container item. This could break connection. Do you want to search for variable item missing? What item of type bc container item? Well, change variable type. I don't know why it wants to change it here, but okay, let's wait until it finish. So now let's make it instance editable and exposed on spawn and private and replicated. So now let's open our, for example, old leather short. And here we're going to check if item is valid. Let's get item. Oh, we can get it because it is private. So let's uncheck private, compile, save. And in short, for example, we're going to get item convert to validate get. If it is not valid, then we're gonna create a new one. And if it is valid, then we're gonna copy this and set this one to here. Compile, save. Compile, save. Well, now. Also, I don't like that uh, um, placeholder for shirt disappears when I'm removing an item. So let's open remove equipped item function and for example search for a shirt and I don't have a square thumbnail here. Uh, I forgot to set it. Am I short? Am I old shirt? Am I old leather short placeholder? Save compile and now placeholder will not disappear. Now let's pick a shirt, equip it, pick an apple, move it here, throw away. Oops, uh, cabbage also not needed. No. Let's pick shirt, equip, and we still don't have an apple here because we have created a variable but we never used it. Let's open function called drop item from inventory and here we are spawning a nectar. We're spawning a nectar but we don't give uh, don't provide it with an item. So let's refresh. Mm, container item base. Oh so yeah, we're spawning this actor from here and let's get this actor and call some function. So let's open it and create this function here. Let's open our BP container item base and create a function called set item. It's gonna set an item. And right after that, it's gonna get BPC interactable object and set item. 
like this. So now we're gonna get this BPC. We're gonna open this function again, get an actor after respawn and call set item. But we cannot do this because we don't know exact type of the sector. So we have to cast it, cast to BP or not even like this, by the way. Let's navigate to a place where this BP container item base is located here and create an interface. Let's create a blueprint, blueprint interface and call it BPI container item. Open it and here we're gonna rename this function as set item. Add an input item of type BC container item. Save, compile. We can close this interface, open our BP container item base. Let's copy everything from here and delete this function. Now let's open class settings or oh, class defaults and implement or class settings. Yes, class settings and implement this interface in this actor. Here in interfaces category, in implemented interfaces, click add and search for your interface BP, BPI container item. Now in interfaces section we have set item function. Let's double click on it. It will create as an event. It is an event because it doesn't return us anything. So now let's paste everything here and connect. So why have we done this? Because not all of the object objects that can be collected in our game may implement the uh, maybe child uh, child maybe children from this class in in some cases we may have old objects that are not children of this class and they also need to need to be able to handle this event and we don't to uh, do a lot of casts here for every type of an object we can just we want to just call set item and send it as an interface message and copy an item and paste it. So if the sector class implements an interface with this function, then this function will work. If it doesn't, then it will do nothing. So we're gonna copy it and paste it also here on the second spawn actor that we have created. And don't forget to connect the target. Save and compile. Now let's test it again. Let's collect short, equip, collect apple, uh, it here, throw away, collect again, equip, and we have an apple here. So throw away, equip at the same place as it was before. Well, so that's it for issues, and in the next video, we will add uh, a possibility to show an actions, show actions for an equipped item because. It would be really comfortable if I would be able to de-equip de this item with uh, right mouse button click and not to de-equip it like this and then uh, throw away. And we will start implementing opening a container for contained item. Thanks for watching, hope it will help someone.